welcome back. So we've been talking about blockchain for quite a while, but um, we never really m explained what is a blockchain. And uh, now it's now it's the time. Now it's the time to to talk about this. We we have to talk about this. That's um, it's it's very important. Um, a blockchain. It's a that's gonna be a big surprise. It's a chain of blocks. So bear with me i'm sorry that this block here is that humongous on the screen but this is literally a blockchain block um i am happy to refer you here to a reference of the official uh, or of the bitcoin developer reference and basically this block is made up of a header that contains uh, i think 80 bytes of data in the bitcoin block and then a list of transactions that's it as simple as that now, what does the header contain? Well, the header contains, for example, the block version, um, like what's the recent version of this block, the hash of the previous block's header, so that's a pointer to the previous block, and the Merkle root. Remember the, um, the cryptographic data uh, transaction lecture? So basically here we have a Merkle root that represents all the transactions that are within the block. Then we have the Unix time. This is the timestamp of this particular block. So the miner will basically insert this in, into the block. And we have a target. So basically this represents the difficulty uh, representing how hard it is to find this particular block, which we'll be looking into in the, in the mining lecture. There's also nonce, and the nonce as well is used for the purpose of mining. It's basically a number that you can increase such that um, you you hash this block and you get a new hash value. And that's it. This is really everything that you have. Um, we already discussed how transactions look like. Um, and this is basically, given this knowledge, you have really the full understanding of what, what a blockchain is and how a blockchain looks like. Now, um, how does a blockchain start or how does a blockchain look like uh, from a from a high level perspective, if you look at the history, so typically the first block is called the genesis block, and then you have like multiple blocks that are popping up, and each of them is pointing towards its parent, and each of these have a list of transactions, right? So block number four here has a list has a hash that points to block number three, and the list of transactions here. Thank you very much for watching.